so I'm doing something a little bit different. I have two books that I don't want anymore, and so I'm going to be going to a local free little library and see if they have something that I want to take that I can then trade out. Um, and the books I have that I want to get rid of is The Count of Monte Cristo. That is The Count of Monte Cristo. Uh, when I got this, I well, I got it free from someone. And I was like, yeah, I want to read that. And then afterwards, I'm like, oh, no, this is the, like, children's version. And if I'm going to read The Count of Monte Cristo, I want to read the unabridged version. And then the other thing I got was an arc that I got a long time ago called Demigods. And this is a book. I, I really got it just because of the title. I was in a fantasy mood, but this is not fantasy. This is a literary fiction, so not at all what I was interested in. So we're going to go see if I can trade these out. style and I was like you know what I've, there's been a lot of romances that I've been interested in reading but I try not to read ebooks in bed so this I think might be a good something just to read in bed light fluffy we shall see I'm doing this at home because right as I was deciding there was a fender bender near the little library and so I decided I didn't really want to stick around <laughs> And the guy who hit the other car, the other car was parked. He got out, he was leaving his information. I know somebody walking by took a picture of his license going just in case the guy wasn't honest, but the guy was being honest from the get-go. So I think it's like graduation weekend because there were a ton of cars parked all over the roads. But yeah, so I will read this sometime. <laughs> And I guess just real quickly, Hissy Fit is, um, I'm just going to read you the synopsis. It says, the night before her wedding, in the middle of the rehearsal dinner, interior decorator Keely Murdoch finds her fiancé and her maid of honor in a compromising position. Keely throws the Hissy Fit to end all Hissy Fits and storms out. Now she has to deal not only with a broken engagement, but also with financial backlist, but also with financial blacklist in a town financially obligated to her ex's family. Rescue comes in the form of the new owner of a local bra plant who hires Keeley to redo the antebellum mansion he's bought for the woman of his dreams, someone he's never met. Only a designing woman like Keeley can revive her business, give her ex-fiance the comeuppance he deserves, and ride off into, into the sunset with a man who drives a vintage yellow Cadillac. Cadillac. So, I mean, it just sounds like it's going to be a fun kind of romp sort of thing. So, yeah. So last night I started Hissy Fit and it wasn't what I expected. Uh, so from the synopsis and even kind of from the cover, I was thinking this was going to be more like a romance after the failure of a romance. And that's kind of what the synopsis leads. But I would say this is more women's fiction because it's dealing with Keely and how she's doing after 
her marriage, you know, her approaching nuptials has been broken up due to the guy cheating. That's not a spoiler. It happens like in the first chapter. It's, it is said on the synopsis. Something that I like about this book so far is it does have a very comedic flair to it. And it's a comedic flair where it's just normal life. And it's like, oh, hey, this is kind of funny. I also like that Keely, the main character, she knows who she is. And she's not having a crisis of person. It's just she's pissed off that her ex-fiance cheated. So she's not quite ready to jump back into the saddle to for romance. Besides the fact that the guy that the back hints that she's going to end up with has already come out and said, hey, I'm in love with this other woman, but I haven't actually started dating her yet. So it's like more like they're becoming friends, but it's an employer employee relationship. I don't, it, and then they have a like mystery element where Keely's mother left when she was seven or eight. And just now her friend is like, well, maybe you should figure out where she went, kind of figure out what's going on there. So it's not a romance, which is okay. It's still pretty easy to get through. I'm halfway through. The chapters are pretty short and it does keep you kind of wanting to go, okay, what's going on? So more thoughts later with this one. Hey, checking back in. So I have now finished Hissy Fit by Mary K. Andrews. And overall, the book was good. <laughs> yeah, I know when you see that face I make. This is not a romance, despite the synopsis. This is a chiclet mystery. And so I think that it definitely has been marketed wrong, or at least this cover definitely gives you the wrong vibes and the synopsis gives you the wrong vibes. I wouldn't even call the romance like a subplot. They have like touches in between each other, like moments in between each other that you can be like, oh, hey, there's some chemistry there, but then neither one ever does anything. So I think that this book is misguided in its structure. So I th Mary Kay Andrews, her, the, her best writing thing is dialogue, which is great when you want a dialogue scene, but she does so much info dumping through dialogue that it then doesn't, and then it's not fun. Because basically you have a scene and they start talking like, all right, what, what information are we going to give the character now? And we don't get to see Keely be an active participant. Best friend tends to, would take over it and she'd be like, okay, you're going to research that. And then two chapters later, he comes back and he reports. Okay. Also with the supposed love interest, she's supposed to be decorating his antebellum mansion. And he's basically using her as an event planner and a personal assistant. Like, oh, you're going to do this event for me. That, that's not what an interior designer does. At least not that I am aware. Um, so, and she never calls him out on it. So that's why I'm like, there's some chemistry there, but you guys, the romantic scene at the end, there's no payoff for it because there was no build to it. But I can't say that I hated it either. I, the characters, you get the sense that there's depth to them, but then you, again, you don't get the full payoff. They're basically there for what needs to happen at that very moment. I'm not sure what I'm going to write this, but this was at least a fun thing to try.